Hey everyone, this is Ricky Grove, Managing Editor at Rinderosity.com, and this is News of the Week for July 25th through August 1st, 2020. And in Renderosity News, our Gallery of the Week is the Blender Gallery. Blender has come a long way from its uh, open source origins of several decades ago. Now it's being used by major studios and amateurs around the world. Our gallery at Renderosity has all kinds of interesting Blender creations. We have 10 uh, selections from the Blender Gallery in our Gallery of the Week. Please check it out. And Sviva's Summer Sizzle Sale is on. Our Vendor of the Month is having a special sale. All Renderosity members can save 45% off, while Prime members can save 50% off on these products. Starting now until 11.59 p.m. Sunday, July 26th. Note that several other vendors are having great summer sales, so check the Renderosity.com front page for updates. And speaking of becoming a Prime member, follow this link to learn the details. Mondays are very magical at Renderosity in July. Every July we celebrate Prime Anniversary, so wait no more. Indulge yourself with new content from our vendors and sweet, low Prime prices, and bring out the joy of Prime from your own runtime. And in Renderosity Magazine news, we have a review, Portrait Pro Studio Max, which is amazing. Read Barbara Den's rave review of a new portrait enhancing application. She really likes the ease of use and how even an amateur can get amazing results with Portrait Pro Studio Max. And we have a quick look video at Real Illusion Skin Gen plugin for Character Creator 3. And Dee McCallum loves the new free update to Real Illusion's Character Creator application. His favorite aspect, in addition to amazing results, is how easy it is to use Skin Gen. Check the link to find out more about this great update. And finally, Dave McGavran's keynote at the Maxon 3D and Motion Design Show is a must-watch. Maxon CEO Dave McGavran delivers the opening keynote address for the ongoing Maxon 3D Motion Design Show. He's got some interesting news for future Cinema 4D developments like Project Neutron, a future node-based architecture, and much more. Make sure you follow the link to check it out. And that's our news this week. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. See you again. Bye-bye.